to be able to understand the Blessed Trinity in a very limited way, there have been catechetical examples that have been used to explain, at least by way of analogy, the Blessed Trinity. One of the most famous analogies that have ever been has ever been given is from St. Patrick. St. Patrick went to Ireland and he wanted to explain the Blessed Trinity to the people there. Most of the people many, many years ago did not know how to read or write. So St. Patrick had an idea. He was able to look at a three-leaf clover and he thought this would be a good way to explain the Blessed Trinity to the people. What he did was, he said, look at this three-leaf clover. There is one clover, but there are three leaves in that clover. So, by way of analogy, we believe that there is one God, but there are three separate persons in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So traditionally, the use of the three-leaf clover, which was given by the great missionary to Ireland, the great St. Patrick, this has been one of the greatest means by, way, by means of analogy to explain the fact that we believe that there is one God, but three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One, one clover, but three separate leaves on the clover. So let us try to understand better and better the Blessed Trinity through prayer, but also through proper catechetical teaching.